Hi, my name is Scott Akerson, and I am the seventh grade homeroom teacher and uh, technology coordinator at Abiding Savior Lutheran School in St. Louis, Missouri. And today I want to talk to you about a website called todaysmeet.com. Today's Meet is a back-channeling website that can give students a voice in the classroom while presentation or lectures are going on. Students can go to this chat room and they can post their comments, their thoughts, their questions, their reactions, and those can appear in real time. That stream of posts then can be used in a variety of ways in and out of the classroom. You can share this website with others and they can join the conversation as well. Um, so I asked my, some of my students, why do I use today's meet so much in our, in our classrooms? And Aubrey said, it allows uh, the students to silently state our opinions, but all at once. And another student, Abby, said, it helps us communicate, but without all the interruptions. So how do you use today's meet? Stud well, teachers can go to todaysmeet.com and create a room, have students join that room, um, and you can leave today's meet up on the website, on the web, for a week, a day, a month, or a year, uh, however long you want to have it up there. But I used today's meet in a lot of ways. Um, first is to have the students take notes. They can take notes during a video. They can react to things, ask questions about there, or write down important things from the video. Um, and that allows me to, to make sure they're engaged and paying attention and that they have got some of the more important points of a video. I've also hosted fake conversations or fake Twitter conversations on today's meet. I had students um, take on the identities of being Egyptian uh, people during the ancient Egyptian times, and their responses to my prompts or my questions uh, showed me if they understood their role in the, and the social structure of ancient Egypt, and we did that for China as well. Um, another great feature is it allows uh, absent students to participate. They can log on at home, you create a room, they log on and they can ask questions, they can um, see what's going on through this conversation, so uh, that was a nice use of it. And also it allows the students to back channel during lectures. They can ask questions if they didn't understand something or if, or if a word didn't make sense. Um, I can answer those questions in real time, again, without the, the interruptions uh, that can tend to happen. But also during guest speakers, students can react, they can ask questions um, without interrupting those, the guest speaker. And then I can follow along as well and share websites that would answer their questions um, or just try to answer myself. But then also the guest speaker can read the transcript of it later, go back and answer questions with me in the email, and the students really like that. Um, so todaysmeet.com uh, gives everybody in the classroom a voice. It allows those quiet students to get their questions out if they're a little nervous about raising their hand. Very easy to use. You can use it in a lab setting if you have all of your students in the lab, or they can partner up if you just have a few computers in the classroom. Um, so many uses. Um, and it allows also the parents to get involved. You can tell them the website in advance, and they can follow along. So I highly recommend todaysmeet.com.